what got me into TFT specifically, it was just, I was just playing League and a bunch of my friends said there's like a new mode. I thought it was really fun. So I looked up, um, started looking up some guides on YouTube and then it was like Scara guides, which is pretty funny. Cause like I'm on a team with Scara now. Uh, the people I'm like really excited to see are, I mean, obviously the ones I haven't, Names that come to mind are Toast and Scara. I've been fans of their streams for a while. So I've been a big fan of Scara for years, and we've been friends for years, but for some reason, every event I've been to, TwitchCon, we've like barely dodged each other. So I've actually never met him in real life yet. So I'm just really excited to meet Scara, play alongside him. It's crazy. When I first came in here, um, my fan interactions have been so funny. I've met someone, his name is uh, Michael. He takes a picture with me, he's like, yo, are you nervous? I'm like, yeah, man, I'm a little nervous. Like. I'm not doing too hot right now. And he's like, oh, I'm not, I'm not really nervous. I'm really, really worried about Setsuko. I actually qualified for Worlds in, for in two different sets. And I'm like, this guy is way better than me. And he like, knows who I am with a picture that's really cool. I'm playing against people who are like, literally like some of the best in the world. Even like the first fan I saw gave me a bracelet and it said, they won. And that was really cute. So I wore it because I thought it'd be give, give me good luck. But it gave me exactly what it said. So I got day one. <sighs> A lot of things I wish I did differently, but I feel like that's just how it is sometimes, you know? You come together with the best plan, and then if it doesn't work out, back to the drawing board. Uh, I hope they do this again, and I hope it's bigger and better. Whenever I go to events like these and people come up and say, hey, I'm a big fan of, and they start listing stuff, like your League of Legends days, your offline TV days, TFT. Anytime they come up for any reason, I'm always very appreciative, because I feel like I, have been around a long time, and I don't know how much longer I'm gonna be around. And every time, uh, I can say that I have more hardcore fans than a lot of other people, or just more fans in general. And I think that they're the, pe they're the reason why I can keep doing what I'm doing. I think, uh, I never wanna take my position for granted because even though I may not have been the best player or uh, in anything, I think I'm generally well respected. And I think that uh, it is still a great position to be in because I'm still able to chase a lot of dreams that I wanted to do. And you know what they say, like, uh, shoot for the stars, because even if you miss, you land um, like uh, inside the stars, you know? I think that's kind of like me. Like, even though I wasn't able to be the best player of all time or like whatever, I still ended up trying. And I think that effort means a lot for me. And it shows, like the fans are the proof that the effort meant a lot.